गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज फंक्शंस इन स्प्रेडशीट फंक्शंस आर प्री डिफाइंड फॉर्मूलाज दैट परफॉर्म कैलकुलेशन बाय स्पेसिफिक वैल्यूज एंड एर्ग्यूमेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी यूज वेरियस फंक्शंस इन आर कैलकुलेशंस इन ओपन ऑफिस स्प्रेडशीट ऑल्सो देर आर सर्टिन फंक्शंस विच वी यूज फॉर परफॉर्मिंग द कैलकुलेशंस One such function is sum. For example, to find the sum of two values six and eight, we would use it as sum six comma eight. Here, we need to tell which values to add, and these are called as arguments. So, the function would take the arguments and return it a value. Whatever is the sum of six plus eight. it is 14 so this value is returned by the function this value is called as return value so the values which we pass to the function are called as arguments and the value returned by the function is called as return value in our example sum 6 comma 8 6 and 8 are the arguments and 14 is the return value so the parts of the function are arguments and structure arguments are the values passed to the functions using these arguments calculations are performed by the function arguments can be numbers text logical values ranges or cell reference constants formulas or any other functions means in a function depending on its functionality we can either pass the numbers or text or any logical value or different ranges of cell references or constants of formulas etc for example if we use the function sum 4 5 6 here numbers 4 5 and 6 are the arguments In the example sum a to b one, here cell addresses a to and b one are the arguments. So whatever value is contained in the cell a two and in the cell b one, they are added. Sum a one colon b three, here it is a range a one to c three. So it is a range and it is the argument of the function. second part of the function is the structure the structure of function is like this it starts with the name of the function fo- followed by an opening parenthesis the arguments for the function and a closing parenthesis so it is called as the structure of the function many times to calculate the values in a spreadsheet we put a equals to sign before the function so that whatever is the returned value would be allotted in that cell now we will study some of the functions commonly used in spreadsheet the first such function is sum this function adds all the numbers in a range of cells means it would add whatever numbers are passed to the function as the arguments so so this function the function accepts numbers as the arguments and the return type is also a number if any text or empty cell is entered as a argument it is ignored and if boolean value is entered as an argument true is treated as one and false is treated as zero We know that boolean value is a value which is either true or false. So if it is true it is treated as 1 for the calculations and if it is false 0 is treated as the calculations. Some examples of the function sum are sum 4 5 6. Here there is a semicolon in between the values. the arguments are separated by the semicolons not the commas so sum 4 semicolon 5 semicolon 6 it returns the value 15 that is sum of 4 5 and 
sum a1 b1 it returns the value 20 if a1 has the value 12 and b1 has the value 8 similarly sum 4 5 6 true returns the value 16 here the value of true is taken as 1 so 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 1 it is 16 sum of a1 colon a4 that is range from a1 to a4 means if a range is passed to a function it would calculate the sum of the values of all the cells within the range so sum a1 colon a4 would return the value 28 where value of a1 is 12 a2 is 8 a3 is 6 and a4 is 2 all these values are added and the value here is 28 next function is average this function returns the average or arithmetic mean of the arguments the syntax here is average number 1 number 2 up to 30 here the arguments are of type numbers and it returns a value number if any boolean value or a text or empty cell is entered as an argument it would be ignored some examples of the function average are average 4 and 6 so the average or arithmetic mean of 4 and 6 is 5 4 plus 6 10 divided by 2 that is 5 similarly when we use this function average with a1 b1 where value of a1 is 12 and b1 is 8 it returns value 10 average for the cell ranges a1 to a4 returns 7 where value of a1 is 10 a2 is 2 a3 is 7 and a4 is 9 so 10 plus 2 plus 7 plus 9 is 28 28 divided by 4 is 7 so average of the range a1 to a4 is 7